Hey Wally. Come here Wally. Come here baby. Just let me know when you're good to go. Okay. Sir. My name is Walt Yost. Uh, back in 1969, I was commander of A110 Hua Hin, Thailand, which is located about five hours south of our headquarters, U.S. Army, US Army Special Forces, 46th Company. Walt, do you, do you remember the first time you met <coughs> Richard Flaherty? The first time I met Richard Flaherty was when I was uh, uh, I checked into the team house in Hua Hin to relieve him of his command. I was taken over that detachment. And uh, uh, we shook hands. We were the same rank, so we didn't exchange salutes, but we shook hands and he briefed me on the team. And then uh, we s stood down, basically, we took some time off. But what was your impression of uh, <coughs> uh, Well, my first impression was dang, he's short. Uh, I heard very little about later. I think they, they didn't inform me of Richard Flaherty's stature, so just as a shock. But anyway, um, my first impression was, you know, how you doing? Wow. Madam, did you talk a little bit about uh, his, his background and where he's been and what he's done, or did any of that come up? Uh, I, I said I asked him some questions about where he'd been, and he he relayed that he had been. He was formerly with the 101st Airborne Division of Vietnam, and he got wounded. Later on, I found out he also got the Silver Star. So, uh, you know, uh, that impressed me. He had, a, he had a demeanor about him which says, which commanded respect at some times. And then uh, he had a great sense of humor. Uh, being short, he had a little Napoleonic attitude, but that carried him in, in his career in the military. The shortest officer in Special Forces, U.S. Army Special Forces. I later found out he had to get a waiver to go into the Army, had to get a waiver to go to jump school, had to get a waiver to get in Special Forces. And, you know, uh, he was a special person. He did it on his own based on his abilities, in, uh, but the military gave him a break and he earned his stripes. Can you tell me like what, what your responsibilities were as a, you know, so I'll know what, what Richard's responsibilities were? Well, we, we trained the uh, Thai Border Patrol Police in operations similar to what U.S. Army Special Forces do, uh, aid detachment style. And their, their assigned duties were to patrol the borders of Cambodia, Laos, and Burma, and, uh, and also Malaysia. But the, uh, and basically Richard's job was to supervise the, uh, and my job was to supervise the enlisted in the training tech in the training mission. Did you guys ever go out in the field with the, the tire? <clears throat> At that time, that area was classified as a pink zone. It was not a combat zone, and we we're discouraged from going to pink zones because they didn't want any U.S. troops being wounded or killed. But on occasion, we did go in. So you know, we we. Uh, Occasionally we got shot at, and those were the um, the Burmese guerrillas. I mean the, the Burmese guerrillas and the Malaysian guerrillas. From what I, I've read about the Green Berets uh, operating out of Thailand and, and northern Vietnam, that sometimes you do work with the CIA, and they, they're asking you to help them gather intelligence. That was a different uh, mission, different camp. If you had, uh, if you had to think about one word to describe Richard. Or that word do. Unique. 